It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Kirkstall Brewery near Leeds, or maybe even in Leeds. I think they're in Leeds. Yeah, they are. Uh, this is their Dexter Salted Caramel Milk Stout, coming in at 5.5% ABV, available in Asda. It cost me £3 a can, which I think is fantastic value for money. Fingers crossed it's a really decent beer for that kind of money but uh, if it is it's going to be great value for money this without further ado then let's get it out into a glass and see what we get whilst i was in leeds i've been to the big uh leeds morrison's uh this is of course this is an asda beer but i picked up some beers in leeds kirkstall brewery beers and they were terrific like local to the area beers let's get this out into a glass see what we get Basically, long story short, I really like Kirkstall Brewery, so I've got high hopes for this beer. Get the last bit of sediment, if there is any sediment in the can. Give the last little drop of beer a good whirl round in the in the can. Dump it into the into the glass. We got a two finger tan coloured head, chocolatey looking head, and fair play to the to the head. It's sticking around. There's no hiss. There's no fizz. You you can't physically see the head dissipating. It's hanging around, which is a really good thing for me personally. Some people like dry Irish stouts where they're really thin and drinkable. But I think for the majority, we all love a really good head on a stout, don't we? And a jet black beer for that. Look at the look at the quality of that beer. There's no light bleeding through that glass whatsoever. Looks fabulous. Uh, let's get the aroma on this beer. Look at that. Look at the carbonation chasing the head up the glass. Whoa. Salted caramel milk stout. I couldn't think of a better, better name for this, for this beer. You definitely get the chocolate. You definitely get that kind of slight saltiness. You get the caramel, you get the biscuit malts, you get a bit of digestive biscuit coming through. Whew, it smells great, it smells really good. Without further ado then, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. That's just bonkers. Gonna put that down. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What a beer. What a beer. That is so good. So, so good. Um, as that have really like turned the corner, I think, personally, um, when Asda first decided to dip their toes into the craft beer world only a year ago now just just about a year ago um, and I've said this and you can watch my old reviews some of the beers were just undrinkable they were terrible um, Tesco came out first brought out a load of craft beer about three or four years ago followed by Morrison's uh, quickly followed by Sainsbury's and of course Asda and we're thinking you know we, we can't be left behind here we need we need to respond we need to bring out our own range of beer and i'm wondering if when they first brought out the beers they were slightly rushed because they weren't good and some brilliant brewery names as well were the beers where you were drinking the beers thinking this is not right this is not right but fast forward one year one year and i'm going to confidently say that i'm drinking 
the best supermarket stout that I've ever had for three pound for a can. Honestly, this stuff is quite brilliant. To the point where if you ask me or if I paid five pound for this somewhere else, I'd still be very happy with the quality of the beer. This is tremendous stuff. So what am I getting? First of all, you're greeted with a velvety, silky, creamy, full body milk stout. It just sits on the palate wonderfully well. And then you're picking up little salty flavours over here, little bits of caramel and biscuits and nuttiness. There's a nuttiness coming through. There's a lot of roasted malt in the beer. But the body, the body is incredible. I can show you the body. I, I haven't even got to roll the glass round to show you the body of this beer. Look at the lacing. Look at the carbonation, the lacing stuck to the side of that glass. Now I'll show you the body. As I roll the beer around, look at that. Look at that, that's just wonderful. If I tip the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. That is a full-bodied milk stout for three pound a can. I can't get over it. That is like, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's that brilliant that it's a shame because my local Barry Asda don't stock some of the kind of bigger, I'd say more fashionable kind of craft beers, the ones that people really, really want. It's difficult to get them in your smaller Asda stores, but we have a Cardiff Bay Asda where they literally, it's huge, the place is massive, and the beer aisle stretches from one end to the other, and they, they're really making an effort, they're really making an effort. But I would take a trip. It's a six mile trip to my bigger Asda. I would take a trip to Asda just for this Dexter salted caramel milk stout. It is absolutely incredible. And I can't tell you enough how good this beer is. This The roasted malt that's coming through, the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel flavours, the body, again, the body of the beer is incredible. As Mighty Mick Huck, not him, Mighty Mick Goldmill used to say, the body, the body, the body. Um, I see it is a full bodied yet easy drinking milk stout. This version features the indulgent opulence of salted caramel. Kirkland, oh, Kirkstall Brewery. Fast becoming, honestly. Um, and I mentioned, I, I didn't even open the can and I was mentioning how much I liked their beers and I'm picking the majority of them up in Morrison's. Um, this is, this brewery is fast becoming one of my favourite breweries in the UK. If you want an extremely solid, better than solid, rather excellent beer for your money, then nip to your local supermarket and pick up some Kirkstall beer because it's absolutely brilliant. It really is. I like this beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.